Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinion and point of view reflect your own agreements and your personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 382, Nasdaq up 115, SP's up 46. Gold, gold contract down a buck 40, traded at 17.53 an ounce. We have silver up 19 cents, $21.26 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $1.9, $81.13 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Up eight ticks, trading 112.18. The 30 up a full point, plus two ticks at 126.17. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 637 ticks, trading 107.197. Euro's at 102. Yen is at 141.24. And the British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, when we take a look at the SPY, it's going to get... Uh, holiday weeks, you know, markets can get pushed around in a second. Bottom line we have is this. Yesterday, you know, we go sideways, we go low with 51 million. You know, and realistically, I would have loved to see it just go down, be at that point right now, and because then you probability that we do reach this whole ABC structure up would go up dramatic, dramatically. My take is we're still going to get it. The reason I'm saying that is that the swing point that we have out here that established on the 15th has volume. So that's 402.31. The way this market's acting right now, it's like, okay, you're going to go after it. We have tomorrow and then we have Friday. And I've told you, Friday is a wild card, man. If they think they can move it higher, they'll move it a lot higher, not a little and then we look at the Qs. So you see what the Qs did? The Qs, bottom line, yesterday you pull them back, we had light volume. Well, today we got under that low. We got under the low that was established out here last Thursday. We tested it. You tested it with light volume and you rejected it. So, you know, bottom line, this is very well could be setting up a larger ABC structure up. I mean, my take is that it's going to go at least test the 293. That's how this is set up, you know. I mean... And that so in the short term, the divergence is that the spy is going up today with light volume and the Qs are not. On a longer term, and this is where it gets really weird, man, is that the spy is in an ABC structure on the way up. You know, confirmed ABC structure on the way up. So it doesn't have to have, just let me explain that. When you take the B point out of an ABC structure on the way up or the way down, folks, you kind of expect... Oh, sorry about that. Let me get these charts up for you. There we go. There we go. You can't expect that the volume will continue to go higher and higher and higher. That's not how it works, okay? The, the, the swing points are the most important part. If it has the volume at the swing point, that's when you're going to get the action that you're looking for on the top side. Now, we're going to go right to the dollar because it's all about the dollar. And what was interesting yesterday, there's no doubt, is that... The dollar, you know, had made that move higher yesterday, and the market's really, you know, the market wasn't, was a sideways market to me yesterday. So it's like, okay, now you're backing down today, and the real question is, is uh, on this back down, we know what the benchmark is, the benchmark's a lot further down. I mean, this has to get underneath 106,281 in order to basically get to lower price. Well, we're a lot higher than that right now. You know, you know we're almost 1,000 ticks higher than it, we're 900 ticks higher than it. And when you back down something like this, after like the type of bar you have yesterday, it's almost like, hold it, you're, you're just building cars to get to higher price, which would make sense because of the fact, you know, that when we take a look at the highs to the lows, even if we did a 0 0.382 from the high to the low, I wasn't taking it that way, but when you take it both ways, you're still coming up with about 108, 108 500 to 108 800. That's a dead cat bounce. So, hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You have uh, Tesla's. Look at Tesla kind of even catch a bid. Unbelievable. You get a market up like this, and Tesla's only up a dollar forty. This is this is going to be. <laughs> some of these stories are going to be insane in the next few years. That 
how this thing is written, folks. It, it just is because it's, anyway. So Tesla's up a buck forty-five. You get Nvidia's up six bucks. That's some that's some action in there. Uh, you have Walt Disney is uh, down one fifty-three. You get Coinbase up 164. That's going to be a total disaster. You know. You get Occidental up 267. We go inside the NDX 100. We look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You get Analog Devices is up 5%. You get Intuit up 47 Charter Communications up 47 NVIDIA is up 4 You can see this. When you have the chips lead, man, this NASDAQ loves it and the market loves it. Taken away from it, Dollar Tree is down 8%. You get Zoom down 4.5%, Datadog's down 25 and Lucent is off 2.1%. You know, so there's, there's, yeah, there's divergence out here. It's going to be really intriguing to see how this whole thing shakes out. My take is that we're still going to, somehow, some way, we're going to get that ABC structure on the way up. And, you know, we'll see. And I'm talking about the one on the spy that goes to 4.1103. That's where I'm thinking this thing's going to go. Uh, we'll see how the rest of this is shaken out. What you do have is that we if we take a look at the, the, you know, the gold stocks are getting a good bid today, and they have volume behind the move. You know, we take a look at the, well, the GDX, it's not bad. GDX, you went lower yesterday with 21 million. You got 18 mile. But if you take a look at some of the actual individual equities, some of them have, some of them have good volume. We take a look at Nico Eagle. Yeah, it's an expansion of volume. So yesterday we did uh, 1.7. You're at 2 million right now. Your swing point up there is 2.6. You take a look at uh, uh, Anglo Ashanti, uh, Anglo Gold, uh, bottom line. You can see there's quite an expansion of volume now. I mean, yesterday, you know, we went sideways with 1.6 million, 2.6 million up here. Now you're going into 4.1. But you're in the bar. So the bar, 1767 is the bottom of the bar. 1841 is the top of the bar. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We're going to be growling and prowling out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading up 381. Nasdaq's up 118. S&P's up 47. They're going to run it right into the close. Here we go. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.